Hey folks, introducing Krata. It is a tool to help you create, edit and share GeoJSON files. It can act as a single source of truth for all your map files like site plans, tracks and trails or boundaries. In this video, I'll give you a quick demo of Krata, its basic features, drawing tools and help you get started to use the app. If you haven't signed up yet, head over to krata.app and sign up for a fresh new account. To create a new map in Krata, Click on the create new map button on the left sidebar and you will be presented with the editor. Krata's GeoJSON editor contains most of the tools you need to create your map right within a click. On the top left side, you can double click to change the map name. On the right side, you have the map options to choose a base map and controls to change a few visualization options. On the top, you have the basic tools to help you draw shapes, features or measure things on the map. You can hover over each of them to know exactly what they can be used for. To get started, you can choose the Draw Polygon tool to draw a simple polygon. Simply click anywhere on the map to start drawing. Click to add additional edges for the polygon and finally click on the start point to finalize your shape. Similarly, you can select the Draw Rectangle tool and click on the map to start drawing. Move your mouse diagonally and click to finalize the rectangle. To create a circle, select the Draw Ellipse tool. Click anywhere on the map, move the mouse as the radius and click to finalize the circle. All the three shapes we drew right now are simply polygons on a GeoJSON file. Now to draw a line string, select the draw line string tool, click on the map to create path points and click on the last point again to finalize the line string. And finally, we have the draw point tool to help you add points anywhere in your map. To modify any of your existing shapes, Simply right click on them and select modify. Now you will be able to easily edit the nodes and click outside to finalize these modifications. Similarly, to transform a shape, you can select the transform option from the right click menu, drag the edge nodes to resize the shape or drag the top node to rotate it. To move your shape, simply click anywhere within the selection and drag. Krata provides a handful of controls to change the appearance of your shapes. Click to select any shape and the right sidebar will show you everything you can use to change its appearance. You can change the fill color, line color and line width of polygons. One of the powerful features of Krata is the default properties of shape. It calculates the real world dimensions of a shape whenever you draw or modify them. Switch to the details panel for the shape and you will be able to see the area and perimeter for the polygon in metric units. For line strings, you will be able to see the distance and for points, you will be able to see the radius in metric units. On the left side of the editor, you will be able to see the layers panel with all your shapes. You can double click on the name to rename the shape, double click on the icon next to it to bring the shape to your viewport and click the visibility icon to toggle the visibility of the shape. Once you are done with your map, you can click on the export button on the top bar to export your map as a GeoJSON file, KML file or simply create an image of the map. To share the map with your friends, you can click on the share button and you will get a public viewable link of your map. That's it for the walkthrough of the app. I'm excited to see what you are going to create using Krata. We will show you some of the other powerful features of Krata in future videos. Thank you.